There's a new type of jellyfish that's making its way into the back bays and rivers along the Jersey Shore. CBS 2's John Elliott went out to Barnegat Bay today with some researchers from Montclair State University to trap and track this clingy pest. Today we are jellyfishing. So this is Ganyanemus vertens. It's also called the clinging jellyfish. It's a small invasive hydrozoan or type of jellyfish from the Pacific. Even though it's early in the season, we're just midway through the third net dip of the morning, and the scientists from Montclair State University have already collected over 40 of these tiny terrors. This is about as big as an adult gets. I think it's important for people to know how dangerous these are, and they're in water that people swim in. There's one right there. There's a bunch on this one. These are a lot smaller than the lion's mane or the cannonball jellyfish you see in the ocean, but in many respects, they're more dangerous. They have pretty tough paralysis toxins, and that's uh, what generally people complain most about, a sort of ma massive muscle cramps and pain affiliated with these paralysis toxins. We're putting ourselves in danger to help prevent people from being in danger. If they think they've been stung, um, one of the things we always do is we carry uh, something called Sting No More, but if you've got white vinegar, we often recommend that. What white, white vinegar does is it immobilizes any of the stinging cells that haven't fired yet. Oh, I got some. And this is something that we want to make sure that our healthcare facilities and our, our healthcare workers also know because those are the types of things to, you know, ask the right questions in terms of potential treatments. When you don't know that there's danger in the water, you are very comfortable with your surroundings and you're not cautious, so it's important to educate the public on what is in the water waiting for them. And John tells us the best way to see where the clinging jellyfish are showing up is to check out the maps on New Jersey Jelly Spotters. For more information on that, you can head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. I mean, who knew? Right? I, they're so tiny and tiny, yet so painful. Tiny terrors, Oof. John accurately said. Mm. Apparently, Lonnie has had this before. It's like you had ants in your they, pants, right? They stick to you. They stick to <laughs> My wife thought I was dancing in the water. I'm like, uh, there. It's wow. It's it was not really, really painful. It is not a nice experience. No. Um, all right.